Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Amy and today I have a very special collaboration video that we are calling Best Discoveries of the 2020s. By we, I mean Kat L, Clara Zila, Isabel Styles, and myself. We are the four of us collaborating once again to do this really fun tag for you guys. This is almost like a favorites video but on steroids because it's basically any of the really solid discoveries that we have come across in the past year or so, like since the pandemic I suppose. Even though I am super late to the game, I have to say that the Chanel classic flap is <laughs> hands down one of the best discoveries. Those of you who follow my channel would have seen my unboxing and uh, why I decided to get it finally. And if you haven't, I will link it up here. I guess I understand the hype now. I mean, it's not that I was ever against the classic flop. It's just that I never owned one before and I was totally fine with just all the seasonal bags and all the, the other fun bags that I've owned. But I just never was able to take the plunge because, well, first of all, pricing. And I guess there was never really a color that was special enough for me to get. Finally, in the 21A collection, I was able to get my hands on this beautiful, small size classic flap in the really, really gorgeous dove gray color. I actually just met up with a friend earlier. Hi, Siv, if you're watching. She actually gave me these flowers just earlier. I also was wearing this bag and even she was totally agreeing. If I were to get any classic flap in any color, this is literally the perfect color. If you're on the fence, and you've always wondered, oh, I wish I just owned a classic flop and you're just kind of waiting for the perfect one. Once you find that perfect color, just take the plunge. You won't regret it. I think you'll love it. And uh, like I said, it's a super late discovery for me. Duh. <laughs> I finally have a classic flop in my collection, but it nevertheless is one of the, I guess, discoveries of the year because I just can't stop wearing it. And yeah, I love it. I love the idea of it and I love owning it. And the next one that I wanted to tell you guys about is my brand new Dyson Airwrap. It's pretty luxury if you ask me because not everyone goes and buys a $700 Airwrap or air dryer. This is what it comes with. It comes with a beautiful large leather covered box and the inside is velvet and you have all these other attachments inside it's super heavy some of the youtubers that i follow have uh, i guess themselves recently bought and invested in the dyson air wrap and well one of them had really kind of like shoulder length short hair and then um she used it she had the shorter barrel so i got the version with all the long barrels so um my barrels look this long. I saw her get ready and I was like totally hooked right after that. So ever since then I've been thinking about it, but this Dyson Airwrap is always constantly sold out. Best Buy, Sephora, everywhere. It was always, always sold out. So I kind of put it at the back of my mind and uh, didn't really look at it until more recently. So I eventually took the plunge again for my birthday. Uh, I decided to just buy it. I actually just went onto the Dyson.ca website and just bought it off straight from Dyson and thought I would try it out. Hopefully it did work for me and luckily it did. This is one of the attachments. So this is uh, basically the hair dryer, the blow dryer, and it's uh, pretty cool actually. It will uh, dry your hair quite nicely. Apparently it's not as strong as the actual blow dryer, but I think it's good enough, especially if you don't have a ton of hair. I don't have a ton of hair, but I do have long hair, so it does take a while to dry my hair, although I do air dry my hair a lot. But essentially, I bought it mostly because of these attachments, because I love the idea of being able to curl your hair and have them look natural and not damage them constantly because I used to use the hot tools. Of course it works really well, but I did find that it was drying my hair quite a bit and I wanna prevent that. Uh, and so I just thought I would take the plunge, buy the Dyson Airwrap and see how it goes. And I have to say, I love it. It does take a little bit of getting used to because 
for the very first few times I used the larger barrel and I tried to curl my hair while it was still quite wet and I think when there is even a little bit of moisture even though it appears to be dry it will fall quite a bit and also the larger barrel will mostly just give you waves the next day especially because I do wash my hair at night so the only curls that you get is mostly at the ends but finally yesterday I figured it out and my hair was just slightly damp because I didn't wash my hair, I just took a shower, but my hair was slightly damp. And I went ahead and used the smaller size barrel and curled everything super tight. I don't brush it off or anything. I just went straight to bed and woke up with this beautiful, natural, sort of beachy curl. So I still get the benefit of natural curls, bouncy, voluminous hair but I don't feel like it's damaging my hair and that I feel like uh, with the smaller barrel it really did uh, still maintain the curls the next day and of course I still don't brush it off a ton I brush off my hair mostly from the crown just to make sure that they do blend in from the crown but in terms of the bottoms I just kind of let them do it do its thing so I really love it there's other attachments too so there's like this one that you could use to do your blow dry uh, I'm not super good with these kinds of brushes so I haven't really used these yet and I don't know if they are as useful even the other reviewers they tend to kind of ignore these ones but anyway if you own the Dyson Airwrap because of course I'm late to the game again uh, let me know how and if you use these because I probably will end up mostly using just the curling iron which is essentially why I bought them for. So I'm officially a super fan of the Dyson Airwrap and um, funny story because my nephew who is only three years old, he only turned three very recently, is a super super fan of Dyson. Every time we FaceTime him he would always ask us where is your Dyson? So if he finds out that I actually own a brand new Dyson and it's a hair dryer he will freak out like He's so funny. Anyway, I'm officially a big, big fan and I totally, totally recommend it. Definitely one of the best hair tools that you'll ever get because it's so gentle on the hair. And I feel like I, I have so much more joy styling my hair now. Before, it used to always be like, meh, my hair is just boring and flat. But now, even if I don't get the big curls, I still get tons of volume on the crown. And it just looks natural. It doesn't have all these flyaway things that just really, really bug me from using the, the metal iron that really kind of just fries your hair. If you're on the fence, definitely just give it a try. But definitely... Um, give it some time too because y you might just need to get used to your own hair and uh, just the different heat settings and uh, what works for you. Another best discovery this year has to go to my beautiful bracelet right here. This is the small love bracelet in the rose gold. I have mine in the 15 centimeter. I got some comments about very small wristed ladies who are glad that I reviewed this size because it's so true that there isn't a lot or a ton of other ladies who have very very baby wrists. Literally the best ever luxury purchase of the year, the decade, whatnot because Cosper wear is so minimal because I'm literally wearing it 24 7 this size the thinness of this one I really did not like the classic version as much on my arms it just looked a bit odd on me and the fact that I was able to buy it in this 15 centimeter size which really is the only size that would ever fit me so if you're very similar to me and you've never been able to find a bracelet that fits you I would say if you have a wrist that is 14 centimeters circumference or less I feel like this is probably gonna you know blow your mind and once you try it on and you fall in love with it uh, just get it because best investment of all times and definitely cost for wear is super minimal because this is stuck on my arm 24 7 and um, I just cannot be more happy that I finally took the plunge uh, in luxury fine jewelry this year because uh, not just this bracelet but every piece of fine jewelry this year that I bought I absolutely love but especially the bracelet this 
might be something that you've seen on my channel already. I'm not sure when I would be posting the review video, but I did mention it on my birthday haul part one. I guess, yes, there's a part two coming up that this device basically saved my skin. So this is an aqua facial device and it is by the company W Skin. It is from Korea. So I've used it two weeks ago once for the very first time and it literally right after the first very first use it cleared out a lot of the congestions on my t-zone and ever since that day my skin was able to basically heal on its own it still has some work to do but it is 10 times i mean i can't really put a number to it but it is dramatically better than how it was before where i was basically chronically breaking out it wasn't cystic or anything, but there was just something going on. I had this very oily T-zone, uh, especially the forehead just kept getting oily, oily, oily. And I honestly haven't done anything different with my skincare, but I was getting so paranoid to the point where I was desperate. Literally saved my skin and I have used it a second time just yesterday as the follow-up review or just as a very well-rounded review of this whole thing uh, and I have to recommend it for sure. One of the best discoveries of the year, especially if you're uh, wanting to really take care of your skin or if you're just having some issues and you just need a little bit of help I think this is really worth a try for me this will be part of my routine skincare going forward it's just something that I can add on to my current skincare without complicating things too much I've always been an advocate of the less is more basically even for my skin so I don't do a ton of things I know you guys always ask me oh what do you use on my skin what's your skincare my skin's not never been terrible but it has seen better days and I am so glad that uh, this has allowed my skin to go back to where it used to be or at least to a state where I was more used to without having to constantly pick up my uh, blemishes because that's essentially what was happening. I would have these clogged pores and I was constantly picking at all the different new ones and it was leaving marks on my skin even though I'm, I know I'm not supposed to but it's just not something that I'm used to, right? So this somehow just really really deep cleanse my skin but in a very gentle way it hydrated my skin it basically is a microdermabrasion um, hydration as well as exfoliation all in one and you literally see results right after the very first treatment and i'm not exaggerating when i say that they claim that on their site and they claim that on all their documentation but after i've tried it and especially having seen the results <laughs> As I'm running my fingers through my forehead, I can tell that it's so smooth compared to the first time before I used this device. Plus any stress event can also kind of just trigger things internally, plus anything that is also uh, physically accumulating on top. So I really needed that break and I was so glad that uh, I came across this because it literally really is a lifesaver so hopefully by the time this video goes up that you would have seen the review but otherwise just stay tuned because I made sure to do a very thorough review and I made sure to give it time in between first and second treatment to really see if there was a difference and there was definitely a difference and now I stopped picking on my skin I don't even wear any makeup like what you see right now on screen is literally just a little bit of concealer under my eye. Uh, the whole like, you know, brow, um, lipstick and blush, those things, yes, but I don't have actual um, foundation on my face because at the end of the day, it's best to always let your skin breathe. And I also prefer not having to wear any foundation. And I'm just so happy that I'm able to 
get back to that state where I'm no longer a having to wear any foundation aside from a little bit of concealing. So one of the things that I always used to be the most self-conscious in the past, uh, not that I'm like super, super self-conscious, but basically I always felt like my brows, even though I have full brow hair, it's just that they're very uneven, the way it grows. So the way it looks when I don't do my brows with powder, which is what I used to do, they would look just very uneven and just like as if my brows didn't look very nice. And after I discovered this brow product, and I'm sure there's tons of other brow products out there, but I'm someone who tends to gravitate towards natural or organic things. Uh, even for my skincare, I use the least chemical possible. So when I came across this uh, brow product from Merit, it literally changed my life for my brow game. I mean, it's just one of those things where it's such a simple product and I use one pass on both brows. And because like I said, I already have full brow hair. It's just that I just needed that extra little bit of uh, boost. The color payoff is not too much, but it's not too little. And as long as you have some sort of brow hair, I feel like this product is for you. I don't need my brows to be a hundred percent perfect but at least with this product not only is it so easy to just you know literally i think 10 seconds i can get my brows done and it still looks really natural but at least i feel like i i, I put in effort and it looks put together uh of course it's not like instagram ready or anything but i don't care about those things i just care about looking um more even i always use the same makeup or or uh, cosmetic products for a very very long time it takes me a while to change to something else but basically ever since i discovered this um i cannot I cannot rave more about this i feel like if you have the same sort of uh, dilemma with your brows it's not that you don't have brows but they're kind of either sparse in different areas they are shaped but they just don't look super even especially with different lightings then this is your friend i got mine in the color brown and um i love the fact that it's a clean at sephora brand up next is something that i cannot show you right now because it's in my kitchen it's my air fryer and it's not even a very premium brand or anything it's a ninja you guys might remember last year our kitchen got completely flooded and uh, basically the whole thing had to be redone and we were left without a kitchen for over five months. So we relied a lot on the air fryer to make a lot of our meals. Okay, so I just put the pork in to reheat. This is crispy pork, so it's literally gonna take three minutes. Once I put a croissant in it just for a minute, then your croissant is crispy and super buttery. Um, we do our steaks in our air fryer now. If you have a thick steak, eight to nine minutes, it's perfect medium rare. Uh, if you have a thinner one, even less time, we do chicken in it. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful tool to have and it's super easy maintenance. And literally anytime we want steak, in the past I would do pan frying, I would use garlic and scallions and um, season it with uh, pepper and all that stuff, which is delicious. But then the whole kitchen and the whole house smells like steak afterwards. Whereas with this one, yes, the house still smells like steak, but at least it's not quite as intense and you don't need any added oil. Just uh, season it with steak seasoning and it cooks it to perfection. So literally the air fryer is basically one of the best discoveries of the 2020s because yes we had it as a gift we had it in our possession never opened it never kind of used it just, just didn't know what to use it for but then out of necessity we had to break it open just because we literally had no appliances to cook we had uh, no kitchen basically so we just had to uh, try it and then ever since then it just became one of the necessity in our kitchen uh, so if you don't already own an air fryer, oh my gosh, you're missing out so much. I did a beautiful collaboration with Samsung Canada and they sent me this 
amazing phone, their Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. It's Oh my gosh, this phone is the bomb, especially if you're into photography, into vlogging, into videography. 8K video footages, 108 megapixel camera, 100x digital zoom optical 30, amazing camera specs, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but all my photos lately have been all taken from this phone because this phone is just, I guess, the newest and the best cameras out there now on a smartphone. But not only that, the Samsung is just a great Android phone as well. I am an Apple user, but I have been an Android user for many years as well. So my prior Android phone was the Nexus 6. So quite a few years ago, first of all, the display is seamless. There's no uh, notch or anything like that. Um, it's super fast. Uh, the display is 120 hertz, which is super crisp. Um, it can multitask, so you can have your YouTube watching on top and doing something else on the bottom, like browsing or whatnot. So I still have a ton of things on my iPhone that I haven't transferred over to this one. And also all my other things at home are Apple based. So the iPhone is still amazing, obviously, but my iPhone is definitely getting older. It's, it's the 10s Max, so photo quality is just not as great. Uh, video quality when you watch YouTube is just not as great, not even comparable. And obviously you can't really multitask on this thing. So this is definitely going to be my phone going forward when, once I transfer everything over, but for the time being, I have to carry two phones. But anyway, if you're looking for a new phone, uh, the Samsung S21 is uh, a really, really strong contender. It's one of those things where, I mean, it's large though. They, they do have a smaller version, so you don't have to get the Ultra. It is a large phone. Not all your bags will fit, it's true. Uh, that is, I guess, one of the cons of large phones, but I cannot go smaller because I do a lot of my social media on my phone and I just do everything on my phone. So like the bigger the screen, the better. So I just kind of have to either hold it or carry larger bags basically. <laughs> just for the record, in case you think that, oh, you've had your collab with Samsung, of course you're gonna say that it's your best discovery. It's not just that because we've known about this phone before. It's just that when I actually got to work with them and got my hands on it, even my husband was so jealous. He he actually wants to use this phone. And in fact, I don't mind giving it to him to use because his phone is, uh, well, actually he gave his phone to his mom. So he's actually using a really old phone now. And so it, it truly is one of the best phones, like flagship phones out there. Basically, it's a question of whether you want to be an iPhone user or an Android user. I'm going to link my Samsung video up here uh, for those of you who want to learn more about it, especially about the, the camera features. Last but not least, the best discovery, uh, which is something intangible for me, is um, Hermes. The journey, the whole hype around the fact that Hermes is a natural progression for me, it really is um, an eye-opener. I think unless you are in it and that you uh, understand it, you will uh, only be able to appreciate what exactly I'm saying. Because if you're not in it and if you completely uh, find it ridiculous and don't understand the fact that uh you know i mean there's this game right there's this game there's the, the pre-spending there is the fact that once you really get into hermes you, that you actually do change your mind about everything else that they offer because it's not only just about numbers anymore it's actually about the whole experience so this whole uh, progression into hermes for me is a huge discovery for the longest time i'm the same as you as many of you who I never really understood why, why in in anybody's right mind would they ever spend the the kind of money for a bag, first of all, but not only that, but for the pre-spend as well. And I know that we call it pre-spend in this luxury community because that's the easiest way to convey what it is about, but at the end of the day, it is an experience and it really is a journey, as cliche as it sounds. Of course, I'll never get away from Chanel because it is still my favorite brand and still my favorite, uh, you know, fashion aesthetic. But I have this whole new appreciation for Hermes products and Hermes craftsmanship. And I know we keep saying that, but it is true. The craftsmanship is just unlike any other. It's unmatched. I feel like it's one of those things where you just appreciate it 
when you do and if you don't then it's fine it's just just um it is what it is and it's not for everyone and it's fine i feel like it's one of those things where you just have to discover it for yourself the dyson airwrap the classic flop like all those things i'm kind of like a late adapter but it doesn't matter because you know sometimes you just are waiting for the right timing to get them and once you get them and you use them you just oh my gosh i cannot go back to another basic basic hair dryer anymore i just can't <laughs> actually one thing that i did wish that the dyson did better however is that i i wish that it was dual voltage so that i could bring it to travel because this thing is only good for north america 120 volt which is sad because i do sometimes go to asia or i go to like other countries that uh, is different voltage let me know down below in the comment section what are some of your best discoveries in the past year or so of course don't forget to go watch my girlfriend's videos isabelle's cats clara's they are all doing their version of their new discoveries which i have to go and watch now too <laughs> if you're new to my channel i would love to have you back so please don't forget to subscribe like this video if you've enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!